This legend is arguably the flashiest fighter of this era. In every fight, he gives us spectacular moments that we will never forget. In this feature, we highlight how he absolutely schools his world champion opponent by circling behind his back. I'm Lawrence Kenshin and welcome back to Striking Breakdowns. This one is one of those moments that if you experience as a fighter, you should be asking, what am I doing here? Keep in mind, this is against Charles Francois, a world champion opponent that is one of France's most decorated fighters. While Sanchai is unique in his ability to circle behind opponents, there are definitely technical applications making it possible. So, this is how he dances around his opponent. The sequence starts with a teep by his opponent, which Sanchai catches and lets go of. This resets the engagement and Sanchai starts to bounce which helps to disguise and prepare an explosive attack. Then he lengthens his stance, which signifies an explosive blitzing attack. Sancho's choice of feint was a roundhouse, which gets the opponent to react with a panic lead check. Instead of attacking, he blitzes sideways and hooks the opponent's head with his lead hand. With the hook on the opponent's neck, he can now spin around his panicking opponent and slam the strike of his choice. This isn't the only time Sanchai has done this, and there's several similar ways to set this up. While attacking the back of an opponent is illegal in many organizations, in Thailand's Muay Thai, striking the back scores very high as it is a display of technical dominance. With the attack landing flush, Sancho knew he just landed a highlight reel move and is happy about it. His opponent tried to signal that the move is illegal, not knowing that the move is actually legal. In response, Sancho signals back and asks him why he's complaining. Nonetheless, his opponent shows good sportsmanship and acknowledges the slickness. But this wasn't the only incredible moment of this fight. Let's run it back. In the start of the fight, Sanchai spends a full two seconds doing the shuffle. His opponent didn't know how to react and after what seems like a lifetime of wondering, he finally threw a kick. Sanchai then shuffles again to disguise his attack, this time coming in with a rear teep that sends his opponent flying backwards. Right as his opponent gains vision, as a cunning opportunist, Sanchai comes in with a flying roundhouse. Sanchai knew he scored big, so he anticipated that the opponent will come chasing him, but this is exactly what he wants. Sanchai, with all his tactics, is inviting an emotional charge and loves to punish his opponents when they act like a bull. When the opponent threw a roundhouse, he swept the opponent with a hooking knee that sends his opponent to space. Sanchai then celebrates with his iconic hip movement dance. At this point, he was just having too much fun. The next incredible moment is the climb up elbow. When Sanchai wants to laugh and hype up the crowd, he will let the opponent pin him against the ropes and then climb up onto them only to fake the elbow. He knows very well he can spike the opponent's head, but instead he prefers to laugh at them panicking. Sometimes he will throw the elbow if he feels bravado from the opponent. Other times, he would just kiss them. Knowing that Sanchai is well ahead on the scorecards, the opponent fought with a sense of urgency. Increasingly jittery, he presses forward with combinations and Sanchai happily fades back to wait for an opportunity. All of his antics are designed to get the opponent to repress their fear with brute aggression. Then, when the right opportunity presents itself, he spears the ball with his chosen attack. This is also how great fighters like Samat Payakarun and Israel Adesanya beat so many of their opponents. In this fight, Sanchai chose the left overhand and the left cross. It could have been any attack of his choice, but the pound for pound king of Muay Thai wanted to end the fight early. 
Sanchai is the fighter that doesn't just dominate fighters, he chooses how he wants the fight to end. Right now, Sanchai is on a 60 fight win streak. He does not need to fight, he just simply loves it. He loves to entertain the crowd and he loves to make the ladies go crazy. Above all, he's a great sportsman and a human being. True warriors are lions in the ring and humble outside of it. I mean, just look at how he cares for his opponent immediately after the fight. Thank you for watching another episode of Striking Breakdowns. If you want to learn from Sanchai directly, do check out the link below.